Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the new K-Beauty Matte Drama Matte Lipsticks. So these are the newly launched bullet lipsticks. I know I'm quite late, so I have 8 shades with me. So I'll first share a mini review about them and then let's move on to the swatches. If you directly want to jump onto the swatches, I'll leave a timestamp on the screen. And if you're wondering why I'm wearing this bindi, I just filmed my wedding makeup look and this bindi was looking quite cute and I didn't feel like removing it uh, so yeah so without a further ado let's get started so there are total 18 shades in this range and I have eight of those shades and there are four categories of shades uh, the first one is nude which we all love uh, then there's pink, there's red and plum I have shades from all these four categories from nude category I have muse snapshot and wrap up from the pink category i have dream girl and head turner from the red category i have one shade that is red carpet and from the plum category i have retro and rolling so i heard that katrina's favorite shade from this range is action i don't have action with me but i like the red carpet shade it belongs to the red category so i'll be talking about each shade in detail as i swatch them so that you know how it looks like for now i'm just focusing on the general lipstick so this is how the outer pattern packaging looks like. It's a cardboard packaging just like all her other packaging. This is how the lipstick looks like and I quite liked how the color is coordinated with the lip shade because it becomes really convenient. The classic MAC lipsticks don't have any shade so it becomes quite difficult to know which shade. I always have to read the shade name. It becomes handy when you have more than one shade from the same collection so that you know which color is what. And this is a magnetic cap. This is how the lipstick looks like. It looks really classy. As you can see this has this cupid's bow kind of shape to it so that is easier to apply here like in the cupid's bow so the shape is kind of interesting the shape makes it really easy to line your lips as well and they glide on so smoothly you guys like it was so creamy it felt like it's a crayon lipstick usually bullet lipsticks are not so creamy and this is a one stroke application like in one stroke only you're gonna get the true pigment you don't really have to go over it again and again i mean even if they are creamy i'm never come across a lipstick which is so smooth to apply in a bullet formula so yeah it glides on really easily on your lips and it's completely matte okay they don't seem matte because it's creamy but it is matte matte like powder matte and because of its creamy and lightweight texture it feels really comfortable on your lips so for those of you who are into bullet lipsticks and you're looking for a comfortable formula this one is really good and these do smudge i'll just show you the smudge test so yeah if you try to move it these do smudge but once they dry they don't become smudge proof but they become more dry like it's difficult to smudge in that way but they don't last very long because this is a creamy bullet formula this is not a liquid lipstick so this will last for up to four to five hours it depends on whether you're eating oily food and how you're eating that also matters i'm a messy eater so it doesn't last very long for me it lasts for three to four hours and i keep licking my lips so they don't last at all uh, so those of you who are into liquid lipsticks or smudge proof lipsticks you might not like this formula because it's not meant to do that it's your regular bullet lipstick and also those of you who are into crayon lipsticks uh, you know crayon lipsticks are really easy to apply and the tip really makes it easy to fill in your lip uh, but i know some people who are into classic bullet lipsticks so if you are a bullet lipstick fan this one is a must have this is a really interesting formula you're gonna love this for sure i'm not into bullet lipsticks i'm a crayon girl i keep changing my favorites but currently i'm enjoying crayon lipsticks a lot i love the k beauty crayon lipstick even that is perfect so if you want to go for a crayon one you can go for that if you love bullet lipsticks go for this so it claims that it has grapeseed oil and it has vitamin e so it instantly moisturizes your lips and i do agree to that they feel quite moisturizing on your lips and they also have red raspberry with which provide UV protection to your lips to shield against sun damage so that's a plus point if you're going out in the sun these provide that extra care for your lips to protect it from the UV rays not entirely I mean you cannot solely depend on this to protect your lips but they do provide that extra little bit of protection so these were mostly the pros which I told you and I hope you understood what this lipstick is basically let's also talk about some cons so the first con is it's a bit expensive it costs 999 rupees that is thousand rupees 
series and for a lot of people this is expensive but it's quite subjective because you have to consider a lot of things like the brand and what their other products pricing is so there are a lot of factors to consider but from a consumer point of view if you directly look at it it looks slightly expensive but whether it's worth it or not completely subjective i would recommend you to buy it during a sale if you really want to buy it if you really want to try it out like a different bullet formula then you should definitely get this one when there's sale going on so that you get it on a discount another con i found is that this space to put the lipstick right here it's quite small compared to this one i mean the size is perfect but i think there should have been little more room because thoda sa bhi lipstick upar gaya na so it touches over here and a lot of people faced that issue and even i faced that issue for some of the lipsticks so the lipstick was slightly like this and it was closed so the tip got broken so that a lot of people face that issue but if you completely roll it down and then close it it's not an issue but uh, sometimes you know galti se reh jata hai like especially me even if you give me like a huge space i'll still do that mistake i am very messy like that i have spoiled most of my lipsticks that way i'll also be doing a wet test after this so that you know how it looks but it's again subjective it depends on whether you lick your lips whether you eat a uh, very oily food or how you eat it so it depends on a lot of factors but for me personally i'll show you how long it lasts so that was the mini review i don't have much things to say about this i quite like this lipstick uh, i would highly recommend it only if you're into bullet lipsticks if you're not then i don't think you're going to enjoy it and now let's move on to the swatches so let's start with the nude category first the first shade is called muse this is a really pale nude so if you're very fair or if you like washed out kind of lips if you're slightly dark, then this shade is perfect for you they actually match my lips so it doesn't look like i've applied a lipstick this shade will look really good with a lip liner like a brown nude lip liner The next shade is Snapshot. This is again a really pale nude but it has pinky undertones. The Muse shade had peachy brown undertones. So again if you're into pale nudes and if you like pinky nudes then this shade is perfect for you this shade reminds me of the mac lipstick in the shade mehal the shade is very similar to it i'll swatch it for you this one is snapshot and this one is mac mehal they both are very similar especially on the lips they look perfectly same The next shade is Wrap Up. This is a really nice nude for dusky skin tones. It has maroon kind of undertones. On me, it looks quite red and brown. But for dusky skin tones, this is a perfect nude. And I love that they included this dark nude shade because it's so difficult to find the perfect nude for dusky skin tone in India because all the nudes wash you out. Now let's move on to the pink category. The first shade is Dream Girl. This is a really bright pink. Now I won't call it pink because it looks peach to me. Uh but anyway, it's really bright. So if you're into bright lipsticks, then you're going to love it. For me personally, I don't enjoy such shades. I don't feel comfortable in them. The next shade is Head Turner. This is a really deep mauvey kind of shade or burgundy and I really love this shade and I do see myself wearing this more often. Now let's move on to the red category. This shade is called Red Carpet. This is a warm red and it has a bit of orange undertone. This is exactly how I like my red lipsticks to be. I don't enjoy ekdam se bright red lipsticks or cool toned red lipstick. So I always mix some kind of tangerine shade to make my red. So this is like the perfect red for me. So if you're like me, if you like such reds, then you can go for this. plum category the first shade i have here is called retro and this shade seems really perfect for brides i mean the brides who are into deep red or brick kind of shades retro is very similar to head turner shade but head turner is more on the pink side i found them very similar on the lips 
On the hand swatch, they look a bit different. The head turner is more of a pinky mauve shade. Retro looks more like red. The last shade we have here is called Rolling. This shade wasn't the smoothest to apply like other shades. Like other shades glide on really smoothly. This was a bit patchy. So I had to go over it to really make it smooth. This is your perfect vampy kind of shade. I mean, I can totally imagine a vampire makeup look with this lipstick. I don't think I've ever owned any shade like this. And this is a darkish shade shade among the entire range. If you are into vampy or dark wine shades, this is perfect. I quite liked it even though I'm not very comfortable with it. It still looks pretty good. So where it is starts now. This is the last shade called Rolling and I just finished filming the video so I applied it like 20 minutes back and it's 2 p.m. right now. I'm gonna take you throughout my day to show you how it looks like. This looks so pretty. It's smudged also. So I'm gonna have lunch now and then I'll show you how it looks like after lunch. And I'm a messy eater so you can consider that. So I had my lunch now and as you can see it is going off now it doesn't happen with the nude shades this shade in particular was very patchy that's why i think and also it's dark right so in dark shades you can expect uh, this kind of thing happening so if you want to touch up you can it's really lightweight so even after you touch up it's not going to feel heavy on your lips so perfect to touch up so yeah this was an update so it's 4 p.m. right now. I did not touch up my lipstick just to show you how it looks. And I think by now you understood how this lipstick works. This shade in particular is patchy. The rest of them are not so patchy. Especially the nude shades. Nude shades are really smooth. The dark shades are a little bit patchy. So that was the wear test. And it's not transfer proof as well as you can see. And it will take more time for it to come off completely. So that's it for this video. This was the review and the swatches of all the lipsticks I have from the K-Beauty Bullet Lipstick Collection. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!